Have you ever wished of starting a business, a scrunchies business in particular, but the problem is you don't know how to sew? As in, tahi? Sewing is not a skill or a talent that you have, but you really like or you have the passion to sell scrunchies? For today's episode, we're going to talk about how to sell scrunchies without sewing scrunchies. Hey there, it's Bisai. I'm back with another business idea episode. And this time, as I've said earlier, let's talk about how to sell scrunchies without worrying how to sew them. So this is my quick fix. Buy a lot of scrunchies. You buy a lot of scrunchies from different stores which sells very good quality of scrunchies. That's tip number one. But tip number two, make sure when buying scrunchies, you buy them during sale periods. Like this, like this. No, this one, it's not included. But this is another tip. Because these items from Daiso, they don't go on sale. So second tip again, buy items that are on sale this 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 so your question now is where to buy there are lots of stores that sells scrunchies particularly one of them is claire's h&m zara basta anywhere that sells high quality items brands that are known to sell good quality items but make sure go there when it's sale period and then um, tip number three don't just go there and buy during sale periods but buy those items if possible that goes in a set like this let's move away those that are not in set this this in packs of two in packs of four in packs of three why because you can save more from this you can sell two items from this pack right than buying just one item so that's tip number three buy in sets or in packs and also if you really want to buy something from brands which don't go on sale like daiso this is applicable tip number three buy in packs pero mahal gapon siya because it's not on sale so those are my top three easy business idea on how to sell scrunchies without sewing them by yourself so just buy from premium stores like stores such as Claire's, H&M, Zara. Basta kay maayo o quality. You go there. And then resell them at a price that does not really hurt other people's budget. But then a price that would also certainly give you a certain margin that makes you happy as well. Tip number four, since you are buying from good quality stores, make sure, aside from the good quality, tip number four is you buy items that are made of different fabrics so that you can offer different types of scrunchies. You know, scrunchies have the same look generally, but then they vary mostly on the fabric that is being used. So make sure you have a different array you have a good array of pretty scrunchies that are made of different types of fabrics. And another tip is aside from different fabric, buy different types of scrunchies like this. It has a tail at the end. This one, it has a small ribbon. Also this one. And then the generic type of scrunchies, this. And then tip number six, also be able to offer different sizes from the small ones to the medium ones to the large and to the XL. So that you have a variety of scrunchies in your store. So be able to sell scrunchies that are also of different designs. Not the designs of the fabric, but the design of the scrunchies itself. Like this one, it has a tail. This one, it has also a tail, but it is a very pretty ribbon. 
these small ones they have also some ribbons like this so don't just offer the typical scrunchies but also offer those with unique trimmings even this one this may look typical but it is not really that typical because it is differently made see there's a difference because here the garter is gathered so tightly and the hem opens up so this is also a unique piece that you can sell in your store So also be playful with your choices like this one this is very unique because it has some embellishments plastic flowers inside so be playful with your choices so that you can offer pretty scrunchies in your store and also if those people who love certain fabrics that are not your typical buy them also for them what if people like to have denim scrunchies on their head to match with their all denim outfit so be ready to have that in your store what if they like some corduroy to match with their corduroy pants or some pleated scrunchies for their pleated palazzo pants or some tie-dye scrunchies for their tie-dye outfit be ready to have them what if people just like some fuzzy furry scrunchies because they're not going to use it as a scrunchie spot a bracelet be sure to have it at your store too also this may not be the most appropriate example of a scrunchie this one but this is a scrunchies right but these are garterized hair ties which also people love to use so if possible have this also in your store so you have another variety of hair tie that is also garterized available for people who love certain items like this be sure to have them so that's the end of my scrunchies business idea tips for people who don't know how to sew scrunchies but love to sell them. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed this quick small business idea episode and be inspired to start your own. Bye!